guys and gals, it's Jackie McKissick back with another tutorial for you. I am jmccreates.blogspot.co.uk and today my project is what I call a stash up because I literally used everything. Not only stamping up, oh by the way, I have become an independent UK stamping up demonstrator. Keep forgetting that bit. And I'm hoping you'll all continue on this ride along with me and have fun along the way. Yay! Anyway, these are what we're making. I have six grandkids and a niece and a nephew whom I make presents for. And this is going to be their Easter gift. So, so far I've done six. I think I have another two to go. And what they are, are a shadow box with a treat tube inside. And inside these are Smarties. They, they get money, so this is just a little token of my feeling for them. So, we'll just get rid of those. And show you what we used. I actually used the Fresh Florals DSP. Fresh Fig, um, Foil Frenzy, and I used opposite sides of them. So I did, you know, I did one side, the flowery side, the pattern side, blah, blah, blah. So get them out of the way. Move your bum. And what did I use to make these? Okay. I used some pink card, can't remember what it's called, and I used the Sweet Soiree Designer Series paper. It's a new one that's out. I used a two inch punch. I forgot to stamp this, but I used a two inch punch and a one and three quarter inch punch. I also used a die that is a banner die. I used the second and third. Now these are from Hobby Base, these dies. And um, I was thinking you could use the, the banner punch from Stampin' Up as well, if you had that, or any banner dies that you might have. And this wee die cut piece is something that I put on the girls, and it's this little tiny flower. Now don't ask me where they came from, I have no idea, but it looked pretty so I just added it and finally some gems so that's what we're going to be using today the stamp sets I used I used sentiments from all of these I've used Wild About You a little treat for someone's sweet and you're just lovely those are the hello there honey bear so I've used those sentiments and I use whichever one I get my hand on first for the next one. Now, you score this piece of card. This piece of card is six and three quarters by ten and a half. Okay? And you score every side at a half. Now, this is pretty thick card, so. A half, one and a quarter, one and three quarters, and two and a half on all sides. So I again a half, one and a quarter, one and three quarters, and two and a half. Then while you have it in portrait mode, you go to three and you score down to the second score line. And you do the same at three and three quarters, down to the second score line. And you do that on the opposite side too. Three, oops, three to second score line and three and three quarters to second score line. And this is the easiest way I have found to make a shadow box. Okay, I did actually do a template for this to see if that would help you. 
because you're going to cut down those two lines you just did and then you're going to cut diagonally to the next embossed line so you're going to cut down there cut diagonally for one only and then straight down again so you're cutting the whole corner piece out okay now if if you need a better look or any other help contact me and let me know i'm only too happy to help you okay so we'll do our cutting now and get that out of the way so you're going to cut and i'm cutting all that embossed line out down to the second score line diagonally across to the corner down to the second core line and score line even and cut it all out okay second score line diagonally to the next score line that's a bit crooked and then straight down the next one to the next score line only and then you cut all of that out and once you get into the, the way of doing this it actually comes to you very easily um, I find it quite easy now to make shadow boxes of any shape and size and I think I saw this technique on Sam at Mixed Up Craft I think that's probably where I got it from if you want to pop over and take a look but I can't remember what the project was cut it all out and the last one second line diagonally to the corner straight down and cut it all out Okay, get shot of those and then we're just going to do our burnishing. It's actually snowing here again. I don't know, but snow one minute and the sun's out the next minute and five minutes later it snows again, whatever's going on with our weather. So it's pretty cold. If you hear strange noises, my son's in the next room being a noisy get. Right. Now we want some double sided tape on each of the edges, every one of them. I normally do this this wee bit with a, a stamp and a small stamp block, but I forgot to bring it over so I'm just going to do it with me. Boss and full file, whatever you call it. Bone folder. Hey, I got there in the end. Um, perseverance. Right. And just oh shit, I put it in the wrong one. God you're an idiot. Oops. Yay, got off! I'll not use that bit, I'll use a different bit. Just in case it's lost some of it's sticky. Did I do that on the other one? I bloody well did. I'm an idiot. Oh well. We all make mistakes. Right, now let's see if we can get this one off as easy. Yeah, I haven't pressed them down, you see, so they come off pretty easy. Go me! Now I'm going to press them down. I like to make sure my tape's well stuck. Don't want them coming apart, honestly. Right, 
Now you the furry bit. Lift off your tape and just fold that in. See? How hard was that? Fold it in half. Lift up your tape and fold it all in and press. And that's how you get that. Now, some people wouldn't do it this way with this bit. But I'm doing it my way. I'm just going to do the same. And stick it in. And then I'm going to glue the corners on with a wee bit of glue. I find it easier to do it this way. Because that's a furry bit to get in. And it just sits in between those. Okay. And then these bits come up in here. Just take your time and get them up in. And now what you need to do is put a wee bit of glue in each corner where they're going to be stuck. And that will be your base made. Get up there who you think you are. If you can't get it, if it gets stuck or that, just use your pokey tail to hold it up a wee bit. And then hold them in for a wee minute or two, just to make sure they stick. I don't know what I've done with the sweeties for this one. But we will find them. We will find them. Nope, we steal one just to make sure they fit. You see, it fits. I can't get the wrap back on. Go on, you beast. Okay, just ignore that bit. <laughs> right, that should be a stun, basically. And now we are going to do your wrap. And your wrap is pretty easy. It is six and three quarters by five and five eighths. And you're going to score that at ooh, one and seven eighths. That's the wrong way around. I'm going to score that at one at seven eighths and four and a half. And then you have to score these two bits in sixteenths. So what I do is, I find the 2 and 11 sixteenths is where we go, which would be, that would be 2 twelve, so it would be that one. And I just slide it across into a hole and score it and take it back again. And the next bit is 5 and 5 sixteenths, which would be this one. Oops. Five and five sixteenths would be this one. Okay, and slide it over into a hole and score it. And that's how I do my sixteenths of an inch. Okay, that's that bit done. Let's burnish it. Right, where's my piece? And then I stick it in before I tape it down. This way. Make sure you put it on the right side, Jaggy. Okay. And just wrap it around. Not too tight. That's slightly over, so you would just cut that off because that would annoy me. If you took another sixteenth of an inch off that, but there we go. What I did in these other ones was took the other side of the pattern and wrapped it round 
for decoration. So in this one I'm actually going to use the same card that I have in the base because the other side of this is blue which just totally is not worth it. Just, it's not working for me and all I did was wrap it round You making tea? No, not there. You're going to bed? Alright. Wow, well, I'm going to try to. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. Yeah. That was my husband saying night night, he's a night's a night, so he's away to see if he can get a wee couple hours sleep the crew. Right. This is the bag, right? And I folded it in there and then I took it out and I burnished it. And I do that on all four sides. And that's how I get my wrap to fit on top of that. I hear my door going again. That's not Riley. Riley's up the corner. No, they've left. Whoever it is left again. I'm probably wondering why I'm talking to myself. I do still find it a bit strange sitting here talking to myself today. But whatever the crack is, and then I drew a pencil line there and cut it off. That's why that bit fits on there. See? Right, another bit of tape. What I do is a tape. Oh, it stuck to me. Get off. Oops. Get that down. wrap it round. Okay. Then I cut out my same pattern paper. Push that down and push that down a bit. One in the pattern paper and a contrast in one in pink to go on there. So I'm just going to stick them down. I forgot to do the wee die cut on that so I'm not going to bother because I use an e-bosser and it's noisy. It's not really noisy but it's, it's it takes a minute or two. Well 18 seconds and I haven't got 18 seconds to wait. Patience is not a virtue I possess. Right, now we need a sentiment. You're just lovely will do. Where's the ink? Flirty Flamingo is the ink I'm doing my sentiment in. Okay. I forgot my lot too. There we go. Okay. This is my one and three quarter scallop circle. There she goes. Oh, I got a ring around it. No, I can't do that. These sink pads are very juicy. I haven't used them much. I like embossing. I'm an embosser. There we go. You're just lovely. Right. And two inch circle. And glue it on. There she blows. Right, I then put these on foam pads. Put it where you would like it to come approximately. And stick a bit of glue on that bit to stick your um, circles onto. Yeah, I just estimate here. Mm. 
Yeah, that's about right. That's about where I want it. Does that look straight to you? Because it was a wee bit crooked looking to me. No, that's crooked. Can't see straight. I'm sorry if it's gone all dark. It's just started to snow again. I'm sitting right in front of the window and it's... Oh my word. When I started this, the sun was shining. So I didn't bother putting any light on. There we go. Stick it on. It's, it's, it's a bit cricket, isn't it? There we go. And that is my project for today. I do hope you like it. And come back for some more. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next time. Jackie, overnight.